Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a framing of the walls and ceiling and I'm going to be using largely one by three or nominal one by three furring strips. Nominal means it's not exactly one by three basically it's a way of describing nominal um, which is these super light um, and then my other tools today are going to be a chop saw which I have in front of me and these fabulous little hex bolts and um, a bit for that a screwdriver always needing a tape measure and I don't have a pencil with me but a pencil and this is the mystery ingredient and I can't quite show you it but play-doh yeah play-doh thanks to one of the people that I watch a lot Seven of Sarage giving him a shout out I'm gonna be using play-doh to mark out and to find and discover where my Rivnut holes are so that's what that's for um, yeah if you haven't subscribed please subscribe over here press on the little bell icon and that will notify you of any more uploading videos which I'm constantly doing at the moment so let's get started hi I'm Candace I'm a lover of mountains and meditation and have decided to minimize my life buy a sprinter van and convert it into a tiny home on wheels having a background in interior design I'm going to give you my tips views and experience on design and how to project manage your conversion whilst being a total novice at doing the actual build so I'm back in the van now and I'm gonna start measuring up I'm gonna start with the ceiling furring strips. It's just the thing that feels like the best next step. So here we go. Old adage, measure twice, cut once. So 53 inches. So there we have five pieces cut and it's not that I under purchased herring strips it's that we're still in the middle of a lumber crisis and I could only get seven lengths of decent furring strips so I'll probably get enough to do the ceiling today this is to explain the play-doh section of the day <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna so I'm grabbing my furring strip and approximately where I know the roof nuts are, I'm going to line it up and I'm going to put a big splodge of Play-Doh. Kind of lining it up approximately. So I hope you can see that I've got Play-Doh markings that line up with the rib nuts and now I'm going to press them in. Okay, and then you can see that what we've got here is little divots. See that? That's the divot where the rib nut belongs and so now I can take it and I know where to drill. Okay. So I'm going to do now. So I don't know if it's because this is quite a curved surface and you actually have to curve the wood up into position, but the Play-Doh method hasn't worked. So what I've done is this, where I've just lined the wood up against the edge, made a big thick lash, and then when I lie it down, I'm 
putting a square edge against it. And I'll show you how I'm doing that. I'm getting the edge of the wood into position like this. I know where the centers are. And then I'm holding it and then I'm notching it. Actually, I did it that way before. Apologize. Center it. And then that's showing me the hole, right? Get right square in front of it. Look the next one. That's not so easy. Show here. Okay. So that's sort of done notch all the way across. Yep. So here we have the fairing strips mounted to the basically ceiling joists, the metal ceiling, ceiling joists. And um, as you can see here, they're bolted and countersunk so that when I put the sub ceiling material, it's going to not hit that. And there we have it. All the way through.